Hi, this is Mr. E here again with another vlog about a book I just finished reading. This one's called Teach Like a Pirate, and it's by Dave Burgess. I uh, wanted to start off by uh, just showing his information here. Uh, he goes around the country and speaks uh, about this book and about his teaching style method. His website's here, daveburgess.com, B-U-R-G-E-S-S. Uh, and talks a little bit about what his um, presentation looks like. And of course, his book there, New York Times bestseller. So I highly recommend this book uh, to teachers of any level. I um, definitely enjoy um, enjoyed the beginning part. I think it's really important. Uh, the first part, uh, the book is split into three parts. And the first part talks about uh, community building and the importance of community building. You get some great ideas for what to do on the first day, um, making sure that, you know, you greet students as they walk in, say goodbye to them as they leave, do that each and every day. I strongly recommend that. It talks about going around to each individual student. He actually has a little lesson where he gives them Play-Doh and they make something that they want to share with him that you kind know, of links to them or their story or their, or their um, identity. And then he goes around and talks to each individual student about them, uh, about themselves and about himself. Uh, he shares in that part a lot about sharing him um, his ideas and the way that he shows up in the classroom. Um, maybe does some teasers to get kids excited about the next day or what they're going to see. Um, so that was really important. This, the, the second part of the book, uh, he talks about, uh, you know, lesson structure. Uh, he has a section here. It's called Transitions Will Kill You. And uh, from someone that's been in a lot of classrooms, uh, observing teachers, I would say that this is definitely something that we all need to approve on. I'm just going to read this little this little blurb here. Far too many times, teachers capture the attention and engagement of their classes and then lose it by adding some unnecessary delay between the hook and the delivery of the content. For example, they tell a powerful story that the class ha has a class in the palm of their hand. Then, upon finishing the story, they have students get out a piece of paper out of their notebook before tying it all together with their lesson. They knew the piece of paper was going to be needed, so they should have told students to get it out before starting the damn story. Uh, I feel like that transitions, 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 try to limit them or make them as efficient as possible. Uh, the third section of the book uh, talks a lot about different hooks. And so this one is called, um, I like to move it, move it. And he has some examples of kinesthetic hooks here. So people that maybe feel like they're not creative, there's lots of ideas in here to help uh, create lesson plans. And so this is kinesthetic. This is just a small example. How can I incorporate movement? Can we throw something, roll something, catch something? That really works like a light up ball. Whoever can talk has the ball tossed around. Can we act something out? So role play um, or actually act and you actually, and you really can see those students that um, are into the theater and into the arts really express themselves um, whenever you do um, some sort of lesson with that. Can we incorporate gestures or motions to students uh, they can do from their desks? It's like agree, disagree, or raise their hands, one, two, three, four, things of that nature, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, can we turn the room into a giant opinion meter and have students move from one side um, or the other based on the statement? So I strongly agree strongly disagree and then where are you in the middle great way to uh, form opinions uh, what kind of simulation can we could do that would allow them to reenact a part of the lesson i uh, can I change the structure of the lesson from seated activity to walking around activity like gallery walks are great ideas for that i uh, can i use games incorporating movement and actions into to enhance this lesson and can i guarantee every student is up and out of their desk at least once during the lesson Again, Teach Like a Pirate, Dave Burgess, strongly recommend it. Have a great day.